cook some uh, vegetarian or a vegetable uh, stew okay so I'm having this uh, garlic and shallot and I'm having this vegetables pump with the shallot now I'm going to cut the garlic garlic to be chunky wow, very nice knife very sharp see lovely lovely isn't it so I'm doing a missing plus Done. Simple cup. Then I'm going to put it here, organize in one place. Okay. Make sure you have this. with your knife make sure you have a sharp knife if not it will be very hard for you to slice everything okay so I'm done with my pumpkin okay now I'm going to do is the carrots Okay, so same. But I will cut it a bit thinner. Rough cut, right? Okay, so I'm done with the carrots. Okay, so the next will be the broccoli. As you can see, I have the stem of the broccoli. Right? Yeah, I just, I just cut it a simple because it's going to be a waste if you're just going to throw it. Okay, so how are you going to cut this? It's just very simple. Pump, 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 simple. Pump, pump, pump. All right, nice and lovely. So, so no throw. Even the stem, you can eat the stem. Okay, or you can do it like this. You can do it like this, yes. Don't throw the stem. This one can still eat. Okay. So look at that. So boom. It will be separate by itself. So I show you the two types how to cut this broccoli. Okay. The next is the bell pepper. Okay. So it's going to be a nice vegetable stew. First is you need to cut it all in this shape, all right? So it's gonna be a nice meal. Then I do it like a simple cut. So the texture will be nice and with a different color of each. 
Okay, so I just finished the green bell pepper. Next is the red bell pepper. Okay. So this is some kind of a vegetable dish. Okay. Just make sure, just be careful with the knife, like what I've said. Okay. Cooking is fun. You can explore everything. What ingredients you can find in your chiller, just use it. If you want to clear, because it's going to be weekend and it's going to have to buy new stocks. Alright, so this is my bell pepper. Okay, and the last one is this mushroom. Alright, I, I, I'm just going to cut it into half. So it's going to be chunky. So there is still going to be to have a bite. Okay. This is just a simple cooking. Saute, then bring to boil, put some seasoning, then that's it. You have a very nice uh, vegetable dish. Okay, so this is, is my mushroom. Nice touch of it. It's a perfect exact exact volume of oil. Okay, then you wait for it until your pot is hot make sure it's perfectly hot if not uh, you will not have a, a perfect texture of your food okay so uh, hope you're having uh, all a good day outside there and uh, enjoy your Saturday so uh, what else okay as we can see I'm making it preheat your pan first Okay, so if you want to make it fast, you make the fire adjust. Okay, as you can see, it's already yes. I told you this this type of uh, stove is quite tricky. If you don't know how to control your fire, your food will be burned fast. Okay, so first is I'm going to use the shallot first. I'm going to saute the shallot. Okay, see the sizzling sound is there. Okay. Wow, you look at that. So just wait for it to make it more. Okay. You can adjust the fire if you want. Nice and lovely. As you can see, it starts to have a sizzling sound. Why always the onion to take fast? Uh, to take first because it's not fast to burn not like the garlic it's not fast to caramelize okay you can see that you can hear the system sound okay so if you know that it's going to be very hot then you need to adjust the fire okay and then you need to put this garlic make sure you, you don't burn your the onions okay Wow, very nice aroma. Okay. So first is you need, yeah, make sure it's it don't burn. Okay. You need to control your heat. That's like what I said. Okay. So I will make sure that that the garlic is cooked. The onion is already cooked because you can see the translucent, the translucent texture. Okay. Okay. So I need to control it. So I need to lower down the heat again. Don't make it control you. Just always control the fire. Right. Okay, so the next is I'm going to put the pumpkin. Okay, I'm going to mix it with the carrots. So it's going to cook at the same time. So I save energy, all right? But make sure you need to stir it up before it gets burned. Okay, okay, I'm gonna mix it up with this. 
Okay. Lovely. Right. Then, fill it up, baby. Okay, so if you want to make it more heat, just add more heat on it. Great, as you can see. Then I'm going to put the stock. You can see the sizzling. Hmm. Okay. I want the pumpkin and the carrots to be a bit mushy. Okay. Wow. Look at that. So I can. Okay, then put the stock on it. Alright. There it goes. So I will let it boil, then it's going to be done. Then I'm going to mix the remaining ingredients. Okay, so if you want your vegetable to cook fast, just, just put the cover or just, just put the lid, then that's it. Just wait for about five minutes, then the last one will be the broccoli. All right, so as you can see, it's uh, steaming hot. All right, so I'm going to mix up with this broccoli. All right, hmm. Okay, so I still want the broccoli to be, broccoli to be crunchy. It's okay. Look at that. Don't waste anything. Everything has a flavor. All right, look at that, okay? So I will just let it steam like this. Look at that. Okay, so I'm going to just stir it up. Wow, look at that, look at that. That's that's the texture that I want from the from the pumpkin. So it's gonna be melting your mouth sensation. Okay? And then don't forget to taste it. That's like what I'm saying. So the soup is just nice. Taste your product. It's very important. Yeah. Still there's still missing of salt. Missing of some pepper. I like what I say. This is the secret ingredients that they're talking is the okay then mix it up again, then let it boil, then you have a very nice vegetable meal. Okay, I'm I'm going to boil it for about 30 seconds, then I'm done. Okay, it's done. Lovely. Wow, look at that. All right, so now is the putting it on my plate. So this is gonna be my my lunch. This is gonna be my meal. Look at that. Look at that texture. Look at that, man. I love veggie. So this is it. It's my simple vegetable stew all right so just need to put some mushroom on top this is the texture that i like from this all right so yes enjoy your simple vegetable stew yes so this is a uh, sneaky punk and this is chef punk i will be catching you again around on my next uh, cooking and yes stay tuned